morning, legends. All right, so we've just shifted to spot this morning, packed up the camp. And uh, yeah, we've driven a thousand K to finally be where I want to be. The beach is about 20K down here, so we're going to sit down this dirt road. I'm just letting the tires down to 25 so we don't get no punches or anything like that. And I'll let it down further when we get to the beach. But um, after we, uh, a little bit worrying, but after we uh, packed up camp this morning, I couldn't get Sandy started. Someone actually had to come over and help us. So hopefully that doesn't happen again, because it's not likely for people, people to be down here. But um, next three days, we're finding base camp and we're just fishing hard. So let's get down to the beach. And let's try to catch that mother way. Beach is undrivable. There is no track along the front there. And we just cannot find a track out here. So we're gonna head back to the start, maybe regroup, find someone that comes down here and see if they wanna potentially head up the beach and find deeper gutters. But I think for safety reasons now, if we get stuck here, no one's coming to get us until the motorway season starts. It's about a month and a half. So I think we head back safer near the track. All right, let's go. So our home away from home, it is ripper. We've got everything set up, I'm just sitting up the rods now. Millie's just cooking some lunch. We're gonna have a curry for lunch. It's gonna be slash dinner, afternoon. Some sangers for tonight or something. But look at this water. So there's a big gutter over there when the tide's coming in. Big gutter there. Huge. And then, uh, yeah, anything just out here looks pretty good. And there's another gutter on the point over there. But right here, we're in between some nice deep holes. So I put one or two muddy rods out there. Everything's been flushed down here and flushed in here to this dark spot here. And camp is just there. So potentially, I could have a rod on here tonight and a rod up there tonight, and we could sit back. And watch it from Cam. It's taken us so long. Ugh. Just sitting there trying to stay out of the sun. Don't want to get bloody heat stroke on the first day. But um, I just set these two rods out five minutes ago, maybe a bit longer. And uh, I went up to Cam, just quickly grab something, come back, and one of them was getting bites. I struck it, nothing on it. I reeled that one in to check it and the baits had gone and there were squid as well. Squid doesn't come off that easy. So hopefully I'm getting bites. But there is a bit of seaweed out there. But honestly, I don't care. I'm glad I'm here. I'll work for the next three days. All right, we've just got to bite our first bite. I've only just casted this out 10 minutes ago. just got a nice big salmon an absolute horse check this out look at the size of that oh my days that's my foot guys that is lovely i need him for bait but he's too big of us Too big of a specimen. Have you got your phone in your pocket? All good. Yeah, mate. Yeah, 
buddy. Out that way, that's where I've got him. Alright guys, right now it's unfishable outside the front of our campsite. So we're going to walk up to the corner there. And there's a gutter right in front of that corner. I'm just going to flick it. I'm going to take it a bit of squid. I'm just going to chill out. Oh, we're setting up to that reef system up just up there. So we can flick out in front. Here's really no good. It's just too many rocks until the tide comes in. Once the tide comes in, just here, it's going to be real deep. And over there, that little hole's going to be real deep, but right now the tide's as fully out as it can be, so it's no good. All right, guys, so uh, yeah, we found our little spot here. I'm not too sure if you can see too much, but Millie's going to cast some, some silver, silver lures in there, and I'm just going to put these two slabs of salmon in there some fisherman just gave us. You cast it out. Work, baby. That looks like an absolute beautiful gutter. You on? Snagged. It's all right, it's very snaggy, I thought it would be. I bought spares. All right, guys, that sun's just setting. I'm gonna keep fishing till the sun uh, comes up. Probably uh, high tide at three a uh, 1 a.m., sorry, I'll be fishing. So I'll see you then, from now till then. Good night. I'll get a fish, I'll let you know. Just shine the torches all the way from there. We can go to the First fish on the west coast, episode three. Woo! Morning legends. A little update last night. We fished the entire tide all the way until one o'clock in the morning. Uh, both me and the missus. And last night she got a gummy. Lovely. Uh, nice schooly, I think. Yeah, schooly. Um, conditions were quite hard last night. It was weeded out a little bit. We were getting quite a lot of little bites. Uh, the wave, the actions of the uh, currents and stuff, but uh, yeah, the missus stood up. That's definitely a fish bait. She struck it. Oh, beautiful. At least we're off the zero now. That's the hardest one is to get the first one. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to take Sandy on the beach. Millie's still asleep. She uh, got savaged by bugs the other day and they got really itchy, so she's only had two hours sleep. So I think what I might do this morning is um, yeah, go for a walk up there. Uh, see if we can get some fish and then when my partner's up, when he's up, we'll get a car and we'll head up to one of these gutters and we'll have a K up the road and uh, fish that all day, take all the gear with us and solidly fish it and try and get that 30 pounder. Yesterday the guy on the quad bike we spoke to, he got a 30 pounder and about 10 salmon so um, yeah we know they're here one bloody get one now, a nice big slab of silver. See you over there. We just got a gummy, but uh, yeah, we're gonna head down to this gutter that's up here. So I've got Sandy on the beach, and we're just gonna follow this quad bike up. It's gonna be a bit of a, a guide for us as such. If it gets too bad, he's gonna turn around and say, don't go any further, but there's a gutter about K up. So we're gonna check this spot out. See you up there. All right, we just got out of it. We made 20 meters. Let's try and go again. Come on, Sandy. down like a sack of shit. Oh, 
I can't go down there, we get stuck down there, yeah. we're in trouble. Come on, Sandy. Got a snap gear change. Down at the gutter, we got Sandy here just, just. The old noodle rod, two to four kilo. I've got a well overweighted spin on the gear and I reckon I'm gonna get smashed. Let's see how we go. Come on guys. All right, I'm just gonna save the battery guys. I'm just gonna pepper this spot. And hopefully we get one. That's it, guys. How lovely. And that's why the fish is just a bonus. Honestly, it is. But um, still yet to get a, di a decent sized fish. I just got a fish in. Oh, my this just went absolutely mad, guys. Don't know if you can see. No one's helping me here. This just went boonters. It's still on. This is a mile away. <sighs> This is a mile away. Yes. Oh, come on, Landon. I don't know. Days, look at the size of this. Don't know if you can see this. Look at the size of it. Alright, let me get this on. I'm so sorry about the footage, guys. Oh, come on, he sort out the hook. No, let's get it out, come on. Buddy. He's going. See ya, mate. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yo, guys. All right, little update. So we just got an absolute huge salmon, um, and obviously the two gummies over the last couple of days, and heaps of uh, reef fish. But um, yeah, what concerns me is that. Absolutely atrocious. Let's see how we go. Tide's right in. I'm fishing right in camp now. With there's a gunner right on the uh, beach. With my shoulder out, with my neck out. I can't cast. No way near as what I was casting at yesterday. But. Hopefully, the wind's blowing a little bit this way, so it will come closer, but hopefully it pisses off. And one cool thing is, I don't know if you can see this one, GoPro. That is a killer eagle. I think that's a sea eagle. 
Get back to fishing. If we do get another salmon, no matter what size it is, even if it's one of them big ones, I've got the shark rod set up. So I'll put them out as a live bait. But these are definitely sussing out something. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but uh, I'm going to use this as a live bait. That is 65 centimeters if not more I'm just gonna this hook's not great don't go through his backbone sorry pal I'll let you go if a shark doesn't take you hopefully I didn't get his backbone all right I'm gonna send him out there's a fucking lively which is mental Go on, buddy. That's it. There we go. All right, guys. I got the bait out. It, it came good. He started swimming, and he's just taken line. He's probably about, I would say, it's, it's yeah, a good 75, 100 meters out, if not more. He's been taking line consistently, consistently like this. Obviously, the salmon will know something's chasing it before we know. This should start going really quickly, and then stop. Whack, 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 whack. We should be on. I'll get back to you though guys, I'm trying to save battery and SD card. Yo guys, alright, little update, uh, haven't been doing much for the last couple of hours to be honest, I've been sitting on bait. Two rods up there, obviously we've got the salmon, I put that on as live bait, I ended up reeling that in to put a balloon on and I just felt too bad, so I had to, look, I had to release him. He's done his job, he's done his job for about an hour and a half, two hours nearly as live bait. So I'm just in the process of trying to catch another one, but the tide is right out, let me just Fuck out, I'm on. I'm
just there. I can see it. Looks like another shark. Lovely. Looks like a great shark. Oh. Looks like a stonker, guys. I'm going to go, sorry about the footage. Let's go and see this fish. Look at the size of him. Look at the size of him. Lovely specimen. Not as big as yesterday's one. Lovely, look at the size of him, guys. see me guys but yes we've got a couple of gummies tonight and i've struggled with the gopro footage but i think we got this one on footage that took line oh it was lovely it wasn't as big as last night's one but yes we'll take that i'll put two kilos of burley out we're leaving tomorrow so hopefully we should get them all night long let's go morning legends final day all packed up only left our footprints Last night I got a bit crazy though, I literally got rid of all of the burly, everything I was carrying on board and put a fair old effort in and uh, yeah, pulled out five gummies last night, two of them were massive, I did get footage of them, but today we're going to steam back to, uh, to Adelaide, about a 10 hour drive, 11 hour drive, 1000k, but uh, you guys, just want to get say, help me keep these beaches clean, I'm going to pee off a lot of people, but on the way back I'm actually going to pick up a few scenic bits of trash as such um cans and and there's a chair there's some boys and things like that that are just left here for people to see where the track is and things i'm taking that all with me it doesn't need to be here i'll do a little bit of a cleanup on the way home but if you do come here guys this place is untouched you know we've seen one person here in a few days shout out to them guys as well you know who you are you're the legends uh thanks for having a few beers with us last night but like subscribe keep the beaches clean and stay safe ciao for now Hoss going on legends. This is a little different to the start of my normal videos. It's just because it's been a little bit different to most of my videos actually. The main reason is a lot of things have gone wrong. A lot of things have gone wrong. We've got breakdowns, bogs, equipment go down, costing us thousands. But the start of this video was just to say well, honestly a, a, a special thanks to so many people that's helped us stay on the road. Um, right now I'm in a motel. I don't think you've ever seen me in a motel. Um, yeah, we broke down last night, nearly blew the wheel off the car, nearly rolled the car, and we lost everything, including me and Mary. But a special thanks out to Brad and Stace. We didn't even ask them, we said we're in strife. They got in that car and they've already left. That's about 900 kilometers for them to drive, and then they're gonna tow us 250 kilometers to get the car back to a mechanic that can fix the car today. That is, yeah. That's special, and you guys are honestly fantastic. You guys are legends. You really are. Um, there's a couple of things I do want to mention as well. Um, the gentleman here, um, oh, what's his name? P Pupinda Singh at the Gawler Rangers Motel. He's been fantastic. Last night we walked in barefoot, straight out of the car, straight from the mechanics. He can't help us. Sorry, I haven't got any room. I think you could see the pain in my eyes a little bit. And uh, two minutes later, he's got us a bed. So me and the missus have stayed here last night and uh, yeah, we're gonna go and get the car and start the tow once the guys get here. Um, yeah, so special thanks to that legends. Right, as well as put us up in the room last night, it was about nine o'clock, he'd closed his red hotel, he'd closed the kitchen and everything. We
we hadn't eaten anything all day yesterday, um, we were driving. So he took me into town and actually, yeah, shouted me a pizza. Um, absolute legend, absolute legend. Um, it's been a lot of people actually. Um, I'm one to say humanity's failing a bit. And that's why I like going out to the bush with almost nobody. But having these problems and, and, and needing help, which I haven't needed too much of, is really, um, yeah, it's helped me. They've helped me. This trip has almost broken me in several ways. Um, but there is a couple of other people I do want to give a special shout out to. Um, obviously Suzanne and her husband, when we did get stuck for several hours in a very remote spot, we probably wouldn't have been found for several weeks. You know, we walked almost 20 kilometers in the blistering heat, got absolutely smashed. Didn't even know where we were walking and uh, found a farmhouse. I was very reluctant to knock on the house as we'd seen a sign saying trespassers will be shot, survivors will be shot again. So I was very reluctant to actually knock on this door. But when we did, you know, with it, the sun had been on us all day, we were sunburned, we had no water. My missus was quite emotional. It's been a very emotional day, I was almost there. The guys invited us straight away in, sat us down, got us some water, and then got the car, his car. Drove right out to where my car was and actually spent an hour with a broken rib, helping us get my car out. Didn't ask for anything. I bought him a kind of beer, I gave him 50 bucks, had him a wallet, and that's all he wanted. Didn't even want that. If I didn't have that, he wouldn't have taken that. Um, but special thanks, I cannot remember his name, but Susan and your husband, you have been great. I will change the way I do my videos and definitely not reveal so many locations because of you guys, I understand. You don't want people going to places where I go, very disrespectful people and things like that. So I am going to change my videos a little bit in not giving out the locations as much as, as what I have been. Um, and uh, there was one more person I wanted to say thanks to. There is one more person. Oh yes, so, um, Port Augusta, we might not even be able to get the car fixed, but we did call around this morning. And there's a gentleman, Tom, from one of the uh, mechanics down there. He's actually, all morning, he's actually chased around parts of the car. He can't even do the job. He can't even book it in, he's been flat out. And uh, he said, if I can't get it done, He's actually gonna get off work at five o'clock and he's happy to fix the car in his driveway. Which is honestly crazy, it's crazy. So yeah, this video is a little bit different to how I normally start my videos off. You'll see in a minute when I cut to the video that it's all, it's all gravy until things go wrong. So yeah, I just wanna say guys that honestly, I mean it's not failing. There's a lot of good people out there, there really is. And I think karma, karma really has paid here. I've helped a lot of people, never asked for anything in return. And um, I really appreciate everyone, all the support, everything. Even you guys watching this video right now, liking, subscribing, it honestly means the world to me. But to some of the legends that have really helped us out in the last seven days, you don't quite realize you've, you've pulled me, me and Millie back from almost, yeah, crying on the ground in a mess to, yeah, now potentially smiling and hopefully, yes, the car is on the back of the trailer and, and, and going home that way. But, you know, we didn't, we're still here, we are still here. So look, on a lighter note guys, watch the next video. I'm gonna do two videos, because so much went on, but um, this video is a little bit crazy. We caught a lot of fish, we did very well, very well in fishing, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about when things go wrong, you gotta stay calm. And uh, yeah, really I think, yeah, ask for help, don't be afraid to ask for help. And uh, you don't expect the kindness of people to help you along the way. I never did. But, yeah, people have come and really, really helped us. So, look, guys, check out the next 20 minutes of the last seven days. It was carnage. You'll see some a lot of raw stuff. You know, me and the missus getting very emotional. A lot of equipment being broken in camera equipment. I've done over $3,000 in broken camera equipment, and I don't know them very much at all. Um, so, yeah, that's obviously $3,000 is pretty tough to take on board let alone being stranded in the middle of nowhere. And now 600K from home, we are now broken down and, and we, only need, we, we can only get home from the assistance of others. So check out the video, let me know what you reckon and uh, leave a comment as well. When shit's hit the fan and someone's helped you out, I wanna know, give them a shout out, give them a recognition. Check it out, ciao for now.